Yeah, yeah, what's poppin'? We had a big day yesterday, man. We partying hard. Word, right, man. I be blogging because I don't know how to use Twitter yet, man. He's over there. We saw a big uncle perform at the Playboy Mansion. You know what I mean? Had to stay focused over there, though. You know, I had, I had fun. Stay focused, though. Believe that. Stay focused, man. You already know what it is. Check out Worldwide Warriors coming soon. I'm going to keep y'all updated on that. All my bloggers. Right now, we're trying to figure out who's the best rappers out in the game right now. We're trying to figure out uh, is it according to sales or is it according to lyrics or is it according to what demographic you, you know, you selling to. So as I try to um, get this party life to weigh off a little bit, let me get my mind right, let you know what I think, who the best rappers are. All hip hop doing their thing every week. Got a new artist. They show who the best rappers are. Or they got their they giving their opinions, you know what I mean? That's hot, that's hot. I think we saw sticky fingers up there this week. That was ill, that was ill. So I think can you be the best rapper alive? Or you can or can you be in the top five, really? If if you're not doing all hip hop. So you got when I came back in the days, you got Nas back in the days. All these dudes are doing like straight hip hop, and you consider them hip hop artists. So what do you consider a hip hop artist now? You got a hot, a hot artist like Drake. So is he a rapper or, or is he like, or is he, is he hip hop? Is he a top five rapper? He's singing, he's talented with the singing, talented with the rapping. So is he a top five rapper, top five singer? Top, so we're trying to figure that out as hip hop tries to progress and distance itself from that feminine, from being a, a, male, a male feminine, you know what I mean? Hip hop is slowly trying to distance itself and get back to hip hop and, and, and leaving the, and leaving the um, like, like even in the, in the Bay Area, they got the hyphy movement. They have a whole nother category. Hyphy's ill, you know, even like in the, even in, um, where, 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 where the big homie Nelly's from. Where the big homie's Nelly from, you know what I mean? Um, you know, they, they had a whole different a whole different style over there. I think hip-hop is probably the mother or the umbrella of everything, but I think it should be different names, for I think, for different demographics around America because people from New York get frustrated because from what they know hip-hop is, they think that it's being infiltrated. You know what I mean? Now, hip hop ain't dead. Now, whether there's another music that's better, that's different. Hip hop ain't dead, but if there's another music, like if the South music is better than New York music, you know what I mean? That's a different story. That could that could very well be so. But when people start saying they're like it's hip hop, that's that's hard to deal with. You know what I mean? Hip hop is like you gotta say like rapping noy. Um, Keith Murray, you know what I mean? Um, just that pure hip hop, you know what I mean? Like that pure, pure um, Frank Luke when he was coming from the Vietnam, you know what I mean? That pure, then you can break it down. And when you break it down, it's not as pure anymore, you know what I mean? So, so I think hip hop at its purest state is, I guess, Nas, you know what I mean? That's a given, you know. Uh, uh, Ice Cube, Ice Cube still 100% hip hop to me. You know, of course, Scarface, Scarface is the truest. He's been the most loyal to the, um, to the craft. You know, he's been the most loyal to the craft. You know what I mean? Um, so, I think Eminem's being pretty. I think this last album he came out, he 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 kept it loyal. He kept it loyal to hip hop. You know what I mean? As far as being a hip hop artist. I think they should really start. I think they put like black people in one category. And some black rappers are really R&B artists or pop artists, but they put them in hip hop because it's not enough. They just say, hey, just put these guys in hip hop. And these guys will be hip hop, you know what I mean? That's corny to me. My best artist right now, Al Eminem, number one. He, he retired so crazy. How you retire and still be number one? 
that's crazy. Like, he ain't come out with a song and everybody waiting. You know what I mean? I think, um, of course, Nas is, is up there. Nas 1-2. One, one, Andre 3000 holding it down. You know, there's a lot of other, a lot of, a lot of other rappers that, I mean, they claim to be number one, but they just, I mean, yeah, they, they, it's just not proven. It's just not proven. In fact, I think a lot of people were mistaken that just because you're a really good rapper don't mean you're the best rapper. You have some people mistake that they have the universal, the interscopes, the Def Jams, um, universal music groups. You have all these type of machine monsters pushing you. That doesn't mean that you're necessarily better than the Arsenal or a load of Lux, you know, or Iron Solomon or Mav Hoffa or Murder Mook. You have a big machine. So when you say you're the best, when you, um, when you say you're the best, you know what I mean? You, you, you need to say you have one of the best machines. So give credit where credit's due. You know what I mean? You get some of these guys, and, and, and then you need to say you, you have one of the best co-signers. I think all rappers, I think all rappers are pretty much talented. I think a lot of them, so, there's so many different type players. Like I tell people, they say, Ron, who the best player you played against? Because most likely, um, if somebody can pretty much, you know, give me numbers, give me buckets, you know, that's how you measure somebody in the league at this point in time. You measure them how they play against me. You know what I mean? Or how they play against Shane Battier. But I say you got Richard Hamilton, you got Kobe, you got Ray, you got Pierce, you got Ron James, you got Wade, et cetera, all these great players. I always tell people everybody got different DNA. You know what I mean? Everybody play different. Everybody, LeBron will give you 40 in a different way. Kobe gave you 40. You know what I mean? In my case, the only person that ever scored 40 on me was Brandon Roy, but, you know, but 35. Say. LeBron will give you 35 a different way than Kobe will give you 35. Or... Or Brandon Roy gave you 28 different than Richard Hamilton gave you 28. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just different. You know, so I think all these rappers out here is hot, man. I think everybody hot. Don't be fooled when you hear people saying they're the best, man. You know what I mean? Because some of them is not the best, you know what I mean? We coming through. Hard body, God, body all day. You know, I got a lot of hot artists. My artists going to blow, but hopefully... Hopefully we can get in the game, man. We're not in the game, so hopefully one day we get in the game. Don't get blackballed or, or don't get hated on. You know, we got to push our way, kick the door down. Somebody's going to be standing behind the door. We're going to kick them. They're going to fall. Back going to fall on the floor. They're going to get mad, bring their goons out. We get our goons. We're going to get it popping. But we got to do anything possible to get it popping, man. That's why I'm out in high-risk environments. Like, yo. I'm on the ground for the team, on the ground for the squad. You know what I mean? I'm on my ground, so my team know that. My hood know that. Everybody that work with me know that. We're going to find a way to get it popping, man. We're going to find a way. We're going to try hard. Keep grinding with me. All my fans out there, all 2,000 of y'all, I love y'all. You know what I mean? If I sell 2,000 records, I'd be happy. My peoples would be happy. We just need that support. Let it continue to build. You know what I mean? We're going to do a big. I'm still on vacation. L.A., me and my peoples, still on vacation in all the spots. Shout out to everybody from the hoods that showing love to their boy. When he walked through the spot, they love me right now. I'm on vacation. I'm going to party hard. My voice is going, but I will continue to party. I got about another two weeks before I, before I really have to stop playing basketball and um and cutting back on the party. And so I'm really going to have a good time. Thank you for enjoying yourself, too. We out, baby.